It was the early 1980s. Across Europe, the skies had darkened, not through rain, but due to smoke. The factories exhaled clouds of poison, and soon, the rain began to sting. The forests died, rivers turning lifeless. Even newborn babies were breathing air touched by acid, air their tiny lungs were never meant to feel. This was the moment when even the sky became toxic. For every amount of coal or oil we burned, invisible gases were released into the air, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides. They were invisible, but they were changing the chemistry of the clouds above us. Up in the atmosphere, these gases combined with both water vapor and oxygen, forming sulfuric and nitric acid. And when the clouds finally wept, their tears carried acid strong enough to burn through stone and soil. That's what scientists began to call acid rain. Normal rain has a pH of about 5.6, harmless to life. But the rainfall plummeted to pH 3.7 during the crisis in Europe, almost like vinegar falling from the sky. Forests began to lose their leaves. The woods were silence personified. Deafening. Lakes turned crystal clear, though not because they are clean, but because nothing is able to live in them anymore. Acid rain had killed every fish, every insect, every sign of life. The black forest of Germany began to die tree by tree, hill by hill. More than 4,000 lakes in Sweden became barren. And in cities like London and Prague, ancient monuments, cathedrals, statues, memorials, slowly dissolved one drop at a time. It was like witnessing history disintegrate into dust. Scientists sounded the alarm. They found that the pollution didn't stay in a single location, but could be carried by the wind hundreds of miles. The poison that fell on Norway and Sweden often came from factories far away in Britain and Central Europe. Finally, nations banded together in 1979 to fight back. They signed the first international agreement to reduce air pollution across borders. It was the beginning of hope. Factories began to install filters and scrubbers. Cleaner fuels replaced coal. Gradually, the skies had started to heal. Today, the rain is safer. The forests are regenerating and children can play under the clouds without fear. But the memory stays with him, a warning written in water. Because the sky remembers our mistakes and our mercy. Acid Rain, a story of science, sorrow, and second chances. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more amazing science videos.